Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 29 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I've picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. There's one more. Facebook Marketplace. Um, items that you can buy low and sell for decent profits. Uh, most of these items sold for $35 or less. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. Um, my channel focuses on BOLO items. Be on lookout is what BOLO stands for. Items, um, when you're out sourcing, if you're a reseller and you're buying items to resell, I'm going to share with you items to be on the lookout for. So check out my channel. I have tons and tons of content. Um, different formats. I do like category videos where I break it down by category. Um, so make sure you check out some of the other videos. All right, you guys, let's get started with these bread and butter bolos. All right, so the first item I sold is this cow. It is a Kurt Adler plush cow, you guys. It's an ornament and you like squeeze it and it, it, it moves. Anyway, if you want to know how it works, you can go over to my reseller testing Bolo products and I have a video that shows you how it works. I add videos to my listing description to show how items work so that people buying the item know how it works. I actually, um, I had a pig and I didn't do a video and somebody's like, well, what does it do? And I'm like, why didn't I do a video? So, um, after I did the video, the pig sold and both of my cows have sold. So I got this at a garage sale for a buck. Sold this one for $16.10. The buyer was all in for $24.31. The next item is this vintage elephant trunk up. Um, I got this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. A dibble box is basically a reseller box. Um, she has a YouTube channel and her and auctions for you, they do selling events and I buy stuff from them to resell. Um, I have lots of unboxings on my channel from them. If you guys want to see some of the items that I pick up, but definitely check out their channels. They're linked below. I ended up selling this for $16. The buyer was all in for $23 and 82 cents. The next item is this Disney Mickey Mouse needlepoint stocking. I got this at the Goodwill bins. Um, well, that's weird. Huh. I didn't write it down. Uh, I want to say I took a best offer, but I'm guessing it was around 20 bucks. Um, and I got this at the Benz, so I know I got it there. I do have video footage of this one. So if you search my channel for Benz, B-I-N-S, um, I take you guys sourcing with me. So check out some of those. Those are always fun videos. And this is a needlepoint Christmas stocking. So pretty cool. The next item I sold is this Disney Store TikTok The Croc, Crocodile Plush. This is an 11 inch. I have sold the bigger version of this. I think it sold for like a hundred bucks, um, but this is the smaller version. And I sold this really quick for $19.24. The buyer was all in for $27.19. And that came from a garage sale for 50 cents. Anytime I see anything with the Disney Store patch, I will typically pick that item up. Um, they're usually a good bread and butter, and some of them go for big money. This guy I almost donated. I got him at a garage sale for 50 cents. Um, there were tiny holes on its head. Uh, let's see where I think it was attached to the packaging. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Right there. See? I think think that you know like how the tag and then somebody pulled it through and it kind of just snagged it so I was like eh maybe I won't list this you know and then I decided to I did a video on it um and it sold really really fast you guys so it wasn't a big money it sold for $12.58 and the buyer was all in for $21.03 but I was going to donate it so I'm pretty happy with that so this little Power Rangers figure came out of a mystery box, a thrift store mystery box. It sold for $13.32. The buyer was all in for $19.41. This is the pink Power Ranger figure with her bow. You guys, it's not very big. I mean, it's little. It's three inches. <laughs> 
I love selling toys. The next item is this Magnabilities. This actually took quite a while, uh, quite a while to sell. Um, I got this at a garage sale in a bulk lot of jewelry. Um, Magnabilities, I think that's like a direct sales thing. I'm not 100% sure, but they're magnetic. I uh, ended up selling this for $18.49. The buyer was all in for $25.12. The next item is this Cuddle Barn Christmas tree. Again, video and description to show how it works. Um, I have a whole separate YouTube channel where I test the products and it helps you guys learn items to be on the lookout for. So if you want to check out that YouTube channel, it's called Reseller Testing Bolo Products. There's a link down in the description. Um, and you can also find this video over there. I ended up selling this for $13.32. Nope, I'm sorry. I sold this for $16.28. The buyer was all in for $25.08 and I got it at a garage sale for a dollar. The next item came from a mystery toy box that I purchased from Auctions For You. Um, that's her YouTube channel name. She does selling events and auctions. She does cater to resellers. Um, so if you're looking for inventory, it's a great place to go. I sold this doll for $13.32. The buyer was all in for $18.42. If you want to see everything that I got in this box, you can check out that unboxing on this channel. The next item are these Uno cards. Um, they were new old stock. I got these at a garage sale for $0.10, cents and I sold them for a best offer of $8. The buyer was all in for $14.05. The next item is this Thomas the Train Fish Market Plastic Replacement Block. It is magnetic. It goes with um, a train set. And I sold this for $7 on best offer. Got it at a garage sale for about a quarter, probably in a lot of toys. And I sold it for, um, or I'm sorry, the buyer was all in for $12.53. The next item is this Nerf Nintendo 2DS Protective Armor Case. You guys, this was pretty cool. Um, it sold really quick and I really had no idea. Um, it was a lucky find. I ended up paying 75 cents for this at a thrift store and I sold it for 35. The buyer was all in for 44.56 and these are hard to find. The next item is this Mighty Ducks hockey wild wing action figure with the flip head. So it flips from the duck to that. Um, I sold this for $15. The buyer was all in for $23.33 and I got this in a bulk lot of toys from a garage sale. This one was really cool. It's a Metropolitan Museum of Art. MMA is what it's marked right there. Um, 1984 right there. And it is a St. Mark winged lion. And I looked this up and I was pleasantly surprised with, surprised with the comps and decided to auction it. It ended up selling on auction for $33. The buyer was all in for $40.39. And I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. The next item, and I don't know if that is St. Mark. Is that a Catholic thing maybe? I have no idea. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. The next item is this 1999 Furby Buddies Zebra Plush. This is just a beanbag plush, you guys. It doesn't do anything. Um, I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. I put it up for auction at $9.99 and it sold with one bid. I, If I remember correctly, I got an offer for 15 that I did not take. I should have took it because I didn't get any other bids. But, you know, that's kind of the gamble you take. But the buyer was all in for $16.44. The next item is this American Girl Bitty Baby Food. It's play food, um, anything Bitty Baby and American Girl. I typically pick up if I can get it cheap. I got this from a garage sale for a buck and I ended up taking a best offer of 10. The buyer was all in for $16.17. The next item are these vintage box of candles. These are from an estate sale, cost of goods about 50 cents. Sold them for eight. The buyer was all in for $14.54. Um, if you want to see the other items that I picked up at this estate sale, oh my goodness, it was an amazing haul. I've sold so many items um, from this lot. My husband and I went, and I think the video is titled, We Split Up at this Estate Sale. We went in, it was like, nothing was really priced. It's one of those sales that you love. He went one way, I went the other, and then we came home and we compared 
um, what we got and we unbox it for you guys. And I pop up screen shares of all the things that have sold so far and all of the active listings, but there's a lot of unexpected bolos in that video. So definitely go check it out. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Big Zoo Animals. I usually pick these up when I see them. Um, these are big, you guys. They're not little. They're big zoo, but they are little people. Uh, sold these for 15. Buyer was all in for 25.66, and these came out of a thrift store mystery box. Play school dollhouse kitchen table and two chairs. Um, I picked this up uh, in a bulk lot of items, dollhouse items. Took a best offer of 10. The buyer was all in for 16.80. I probably have less than a dollar in this. This is the Singing in the Rain Blunt Bunny Plush. Again, I've got a video down in the description that shows how it works. You push the foot, it moves and sings. It's super cute, taps its foot. Sold this for a best offer of 30, got it at a garage sale for two. The buyer was all in for $43.93 on that one. I love picking up animated plush. They do really well for me. The next item came out of a mystery box and I almost donated this because it is such a bread and butter, like really cheap item. And I'm like, you know what? It is new old stock. I might as well list it. And I ended up selling it for $7.85. The buyer was all in for $14.68. And it actually sold quicker than I expected. The next item is this Marvel Avengers Hulk Smash replacement controller. You guys, this is a remote control. It does not have the item that goes with it. It's just the remote control. These will sell. Um, would I have sourced this? Probably not, but it came in a mystery box um, from a thrift store. So I went ahead and listed it. Sold for $12. Man, I cannot talk. I'm sorry, you guys. $12.96. Uh, the buyer was all in for $20.73. And um, it sold pretty quick. These also came from that estate sale I was just telling you about. These are plastic bottles and vintage nipples. Crazy, right? Ended up taking a best offer of 25 bucks on these, sold really fast. The buyer was all in for $45.15, and my cost of goods was about a buck. The next item are these dinosaur animal letters numbers magnets. Um, I got these in a Facebook pickup. I picked up a bunch of stuff on Facebook. This was just one of the items that was kind of thrown in, and I ended up selling them for $23, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is another cow. This one was without tags. The first one had tags. Uh, sold this for $12.60 and the buyer was all in for $20.35. Got it at a garage sale for a dollar. If you guys see these Carolyn critters that are plush ornaments, pick them up, you guys, because I had three of them and they all sold really quick. And I think they're just like, a, I don't know if you get them like at CVS or Walgreens or maybe something like that. I don't think they're anything super fancy. I mean, they're Kurt Adler, but I don't know. People want them though. This little koala, I love this. It's so cute. It's a candle. It's never been lit. So cute. Um, I believe this one went internationally. I took a best offer of 15 and the buyer was all in for 23.14. I got that at, I believe a thrift store. This is a Team Umizumi car. So the other one I showed you was a single remote that I sold. This is a car without the remote. So somebody would be looking, if they buy this from me, which they did, they either have the remote or they're planning to buy the remote separately. Anything Team Umizoomi I pick up, um, it always does well. This is without the remote and I still sold it for um, $29.40. The buyer was all in for $42.35 and I got that at a garage sale for a dollar. The next item is this dollhouse miniature red oak floor. So this is, if somebody is making a dollhouse, this is the wood floor. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? I got this at an estate sale for four bucks. It sold for $24.50. The buyer was all in for $33.97. If I remember correctly, I sandwiched this between two pieces of um, a box. I just uh, cut up a box and then shipped it first class. The next item is this Flamingo. It is plastic or it has plastic legs, but it is plush. It's from 1986 and vintage. Got it at a garage sale for a buck and sold it for a best offer of $13.20. The buyer was all in for $21.25. All right, you guys, that was 29 bread and butter bolos. Let me know what you think in the comments. What was your favorite bolo? Um, 
down in the description, you can check out all the links to the different places that I am at. Um, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. Um, I do use List Perfectly to cross post. There's a demo video of how I use it. I start on eBay and cross post to Mercari and uh, Poshmark. I do have videos on Mercari and Poshmark. If you guys want to check out what I'm selling over there, I sell hard goods on those um, platforms also. Um, if you decide you want to try List Perfectly to cross post, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. That'll get you 30% off your first month. Um, I do Facebook things where um, I will post something and ask people in the group to share their best BOLO in that category or their best December or January or February BOLO, and then I will um, make a video. So it's a great way to get your BOLO featured. Uh, so you can check that out on my Facebook group. All right, you guys, um, there's also videos. They're going to pop up here and down here. And you guys can click on those to check out another video. If you're new here, thanks for being here. If you've been here for a while, let me know in the comments how long you've been here. If you're new, tell me how you found the channel and leave me a hat emoji in the comments if you made it this far. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.